My name's Crypto Dog to the rescue. Please smash the bell, hit the like button, comment below. There's no value to you, has great value to me and the dogs I'll be rescuing in the future. So let's get right into it here. So coin market cap. Uh, you know, let me show you what I'm looking like today. You know, I just got done with some uh, dog walking this morning. It's my side hustle. I make around three, four hundred dollars a week doing it. Um, security manager as well. So you know, I make around four thousand a month, uh, four to five hundred. So um, it's a good side gig, and uh, it, it helps me to get to my goal of opening up a dog sanctuary and a dog rescue. Because I'm crowdfunding it, I'm building a fund for it. Anything I do for the dog walking, obviously, I'm paying bills and I'm dumping it into the uh, the fund. So, um, you know, I have a goal and uh, this is the whole reason why I opened up this whole YouTube channel is to help everybody out um, in their trading and, um, you know, start monetizing, start getting affiliate links, you know, start get anything that I'm making goes directly to the dog sanctuary on this YouTube channel um, and everything for the nonprofit organization. So let's get right into it here. OK, so coin market cap. Uh, 202 billion right now. I mean, it took a huge drop, obviously. Bitcoin dominance went up 53.9. Their volume has gone up to almost five billion, even with the drop. Um, the, you know, the obvious the volume is sell off. You know, volume, but it's it's a drop. So uh, let's look into the market here. Like, last video I did, I did some mock trading on here, and um, you know, it, my corridor is still on here when the market was going sideways. So let's take a look at that real quick. So I can kind of show you what's going on here. If it'll zoom in, zoom out. There we go. All right, so on this, right, this is where we did a trade, right here, right? Did a trade and, you know, mock trade, mock trade, and sold it up here for a one to two uh, risk to return ratio on there. And now, you know, let me get my big head out of the way. Uh, and now we have a downtrend market, right? And now it's going sideways again. So uh, this is Ethereum, sorry, um, but it's the same difference no matter where you look on Bitcoin or any altcoin at this point, really. Um, but let's look at Bitcoin real quick. Let's go to GDAX and we'll take a look at that real quick, wherever the hell GDAX is. There we go. There we go. And GDAX. Okay, so now we're on Bitcoin here, and as you can see, it's took a drop, right? It doesn't matter what coin you're using, all coin um, for trading, right? For uh, short-term trading. So it's taking a downturn, right? And on the downtrend, what do we do on the 20 MA? We just think about selling it after that, right? Just think about selling it, and then when you start seeing a bottom and it's starting to curve down, you want to start buying into it. Now it's going sideways again, right? So and well away from the 20 MA. And as you can see, the 20 MA has is correcting back down to it. And it's getting down to another precipice point. And it looks like it's already hit the precipice. And now look what's happening. As you can see, at the moment, it's going sideways. The 20 MA is now, or the 200 MA is now correcting itself and they're both going sideways. Um, so what's gonna happen? I mean, that's, that's really the question here, you know. Um, Again, on the downtrend, you just want to think about selling it until you see a relief of the downtrend and then you want to start buying it. Doesn't mean that it's not going to go down. You still have probabilities that it's going to go down, but you can make small gains and stave off your losses. Um, <clears throat> so it was a good thing that even in the mock trading, you know, I sold it up here um, before it, it took that big downfall, downtrend fall. So uh, it was a good thing. Uh, you know, to stick to that one to two risk to return ratio. It staves off your losses. As you can see, it staved off my losses. Now, why is this happening? It's kind of what happened? You know, here's where the fundamental um, analysis comes into play, right? So what happened is the Wall Street is now is 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 dumping. And, um, you know, people are saying it's it's due to the rising interest rates um, and concerns around surrounding global economic growth. And the U.S. and China, you know, they're having uh, trade tensions and uh, could lead to a sudden deterioration in risk sentiment. So there's your sentiment analysis, right? Risk analysis on there. Triggering a broad-based correction in global capital markets and a sharp tightening of global financial conditions. 
So I've been telling, you know, uh, my friends and, and family that, you know, it's coming. You know, there's going to be a currency um, uh, dump in the market, uh, the stock market. And, you know, obviously everybody's skeptical because it hasn't happened forever. But as you can see, we've been on this huge uptrend in the stock market for more than five years, right? After that 2008, you know, bubble, it took about five, six years to, you know, get it kind of corrected and back on an upward swing. And now we've been on this uptrend. Well, you know, obviously it has to correct sometimes, sometime. I mean, somewhere it has to. So let's look at the one year chart. As you can see, it went up almost about the same height. And then it dumped, I mean, it just dumped all the way back down to almost to a support line. Uh, you, one would say about right here in a yearly basis. And now it's dumping back down and it's about halfway down from that point to that point, right? Resistant point, support point, about halfway down, it is corrected. And again, that halfway point to traders is, is huge. It's, it's significant because now all that new money has now been taken out, right? Sold out, sold out, sold out. So now it's going sideways. And um, is it an you know, is there a correlation? Uh, yes, there is a correlation. And they're saying that, that it's doing it again since February was the last time I had a correlation um, with the stock market. Um, and that's based on these three stock indexes um, that they have up here, the SPX, the NDX, and the, you know, so Dow, um, NASDAQ, and your S&P 500. It is going absolutely with it. Just Bitcoin, right? That's how much dominance Bitcoin has. And uh, so with that, since February, it's now doing uh, correlation again and dumping at the same time. Well, why is it doing that? Um, you know, I've watched a lot of YouTubers and they say, uh, they may be right that, you know, people that are in the stock market that are holding crypto, the first thing they're going to sell off is the crypto um, to stave off losses and, and, you know, possibly put it back in the stock market. I mean, yes, I mean, obviously people are going to do that, but, you know, on a mass level, you know, I don't know if that's if that's true or not, because I think people are going to be looking at cryptocurrency as a savior from the stock market. I mean, we drop, but it didn't drop, you know, hugely. I mean, Ethereum's already been down to $189 or down to 200 and it's already correcting itself. So it wasn't that huge of a, of a, you know, drop, really dramatic drop. So the good thing about, you know, I liked about this article was the latest drop in crypto and the stock market has created opportunities for short-term investors. And that's exactly what I'm saying. You know, typically a fund manager who has distributed his risks across a portfolio comprising both mainstream and crypto assets should either sit ideal for potential reversal, because now it's starting to go sideways after that whole dip, cross sell from weak assets to strong, which they usually do, and we can do that from coin to coin very easily. Um, and crypto should either, you know, uh, assets or just exit its position on a heavy loss. Don't take a loss, you know, you don't, you don't take a loss until you sell out, right? Um, so it could, it could correct and go back up, but it, it's going to take a little while. So your day trade or whatever, your swing trade just got a little longer. Um, but you can take a heavy loss, absolutely. Uh, one might see some upside moves in the less controlled crypto market due to the volatility now is now becoming an advantage um, based on this dump and uh, correlation with the stock market. So also because the market is 24-7, unlike the Dow Jones, S&P, so on and so forth. Now, one thing I did want to touch on with this, I'm going to get back to an hour chart here. Um, when we, when I traded this yesterday, uh, and it wasn't this, it was, it was uh, Ethereum, but let's just say I was trading Bitcoin because it pretty much did the same thing, right? So it went up here and I sold it off up here and I made my one to two. And then right at eight o'clock is it started at it. Now, what, what's happening at eight o'clock? Well, at eight o'clock, for the most part, Asia futures opens. That's that's hands down. OK, you can go and look that up anywhere. Asia future markets open um, and America, for the most part, closes. Now, it is a 24 seven market, but everybody has to sleep. It's circadian rhythm. You stay you stick on a rhythm and then you wake up and you trade. Uh, the strongest part of the trading day is in the beginning of the day quote unquote, beginning of the day. So futures opens up for Asia and look what happened. I mean, they're so disciplined in their in their trading that they're so obvious um, in, in what's going on here. So the stock market, UK, I'm sorry, China, 
um, Asia basically and America are having trade, um, you, you know, uh, problems and uh, high interest rates and economic growth. So, you know, they start selling out. I mean, it, it makes sense. You know, if that's a correlation from February and then now, it makes sense that way. So Bitcoin, one hour chart, it's now basically gone down and it's starting to correct itself. So is it going to go back down? Is it going to keep going down to 6,000? Or is it going to correct itself a little bit? So on this point, you only think about selling and now it's starting to gain some sells or some buys, I'm sorry. And it's over a buy point on the MACD. So this is kind of telling me that this would be somewhere in here, a good time to buy in and then sell it when it gets up over the red. You know what I mean? On, on a swing trade, because this is an hour chart. And we go back and look into a five minute chart. Let me get my big head out of the way again. Um, and it's now that crossover. The 200 has crossed over the 20. And now everything's going sideways. So now the 200 is now working as a support. And this is your moving uh, support resistance on a sideways market. As you can see, sideways market. So the five minute chart is telling me that my swing trade thinking is right on, is that it's now going sideways. It's not showing you right now, all right? 200 MA is flat and now it's going sideways and it's probably gonna do a small correction, if not a big correction. We shall see it's a, if it's a big trap, you know what I mean? Uh, so it'll go from there. It, it, if, you, you know, if you know what traps are, you know, it, this, it could be a trap going back up so like someone's walking and falls into a big trap, big hole, right? And that's basically could be happening in the crypto market, but there's a correlation right now with the stock market. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind uh, when you guys are trading, you know, on uh, uh, short term trading, right? So sentiment, sentiment's a big thing. Uh, you really have to make sure that we are all putting a percentage on our technical, our fundamental and our sentiment analysis. Make sure you have some good percentages on there. Uh, my technical analysis percentage has gone up based on the way that I'm trading now, based on the 20 MA and the 200 MA. So on my swings and days and core trades, you know, and then nothing's changed on my macro trades or my investments. So uh, yesterday, 28, today, 19, uh, kind of makes sense. You know what I mean? If it's correlating with the stock market and everybody's, you know, selling out to stave off losses, or move it into the stock market to, you know, pump up, you know, for, uh, uh, you know, a reversal on there as well. So it, it makes sense. So the last thing I want to touch on is mining. So as you can see, everything is dropped. Ethereum is down to like $200 and it's not profitable for me to mine it. So Metaverse is what I'm going to be mining uh, at the moment. So I usually move between Metaverse, Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. It just makes sense because I have GPUs right now. Um, and I'd love to get some ASICs, you know what I mean? And, and some things like that, but those are all going to be coming, uh, with my dog rescue. So the dog sanctuary dog rescue is going to be sustained by cryptocurrency mining. That's the main, the main goal. I mean, I'll have heat coming from the mining, um, and I'll have profitability coming from the mining. So, um, you know, that's really it for this, uh, um, video, but I did, you know, want to, you know, touch on that. We were talking about a sideways market and how you do it, you know, you sell underneath, or you buy just over the red, you know, the red where you can see that um, there are uh, changes, right, um, in the market, and you know it's it's raising your probability of of sell. Now we're looking at a downtrend market just the next day, you know, and I knew, you know, when these two come together, always something always happens. It, there always something dramatic always happens, and it's you know on an hourly chart, five minute chart it doesn't really matter. I can always see that when these two start getting together, they cross something eventually starts to happen soon. And again, eight o'clock is, is, is essential. The times that people wake up and start trading is essential to what's happening in the market and when these dramatic, violent moves happen. So and I've been watching this stuff for a year, um, very, very closely and what's analogous with the stock market and what's not. And, uh, you know, opening times is a big thing with the stock market. So I'm trying to find where the opening times on a circadian rhythm level, a human aspect level of when they wake up and start trading. And futures obviously has a huge part of that. So, uh, you know, you guys have a great day. My name is Crypto Dog of the Rescue. Please smash the like button, hit the bell, comment below. 
There's no value to you, but it has great value to me and the dogs I'll be rescuing in the future. Keep up the grind.